Okay, we're going to do unit 2a, section 6b. It's kind of a continuation of writing equations. I'm going to do something a little different. What I want to do now is kind of go over what you did for homework or in class yesterday. So we're going to talk about the walk for charity a little bit. And then you're just going to do some more practice with this. This really just takes some practice. So we had this word problem that says the cross-country team was doing a walk-a-thon and they came up with some ideas. So let's look at this. I'm not going to do the whole table, but I just want to start. So let's see if you got it done correctly. So we had three people's ideas. We had Chad's idea. We had Helen's idea. And we had Andrew's idea. Okay, and then over here we're going to talk about the miles we walked. The money is going to be dependent according to how many miles we walk, correct? Okay, so on your graph we didn't start at zero, but I like to start at zero just to see what would happen. Okay, and Chad and Helen and Andrew came up with some ideas and they had the team had to decide. And I'm just going to skip to 10 here. And then I'm going to skip to the equation, okay? Oh, I'm not going to write equation. I'm going to write the word x. I'm going to write x so that we could do anything. Now, and again, you kind of had to think through this. There's not one right answer whose plan is the best. This is a cross-country team, and if you read the problem, it's a walk-a-thon. It doesn't say how long they're going to be walking. Well, if you know cross-country runners, they like to run far. So if we're just walking, they may be able to walk a lot further than some average person. Well, let's talk about each person's plan, okay? Chad says he wants to charge $3 a mile. Well, I'm going to write that just above here just so I remember. Um, but if, Ch if Chad doesn't show up, he sleeps in that morning, can he collect any money from his donors? No, he can't, right? But if he did one mile, he'd collect $3. If he went two miles, well, that means he went three times two miles, so he'd get six dollars, right? And then if he did 10 miles, it would be 30. So hopefully you already you should have already done this. So the function or the equation would just be 3x. Okay, let's talk about Helen. Well, Helen said, I think we should charge five dollars an hour, five dollars a mile. I don't want to walk quite as far as you. Um, so I want to charge a little more, and I think people would be willing to pay $5. Okay, Helen oversleeps. Did she make any money? No. So she says, well, if I only walk one, which wouldn't be a lot, that would only be $5. If I walk two miles, oh good, I would make $10. That's okay. Ooh, what if I walk 10 miles? That would be $50. So you can kind of see what's going on here. So y equals 5x. Okay. Let's talk about Andrew. Well, Andrew knows he might oversleep. So he says, well, what if we said it's $10 to sponsor me, but then it's $2 per mile. So $10 is going to be my flat fee. And you need to check your work right now because some people mess this up. $10 is the flat fee or what we were doing yesterday. That's our entrance fee. That doesn't change. That doesn't go up. What does change is the $2 is per mile. That's what goes up, okay? So Andrew sleeps in, does he make any money? Yeah, he does. He makes 10 bucks. Did he go anywhere? No, so he went $10 plus, doesn't matter, two times zero. He didn't do any mileage, so he didn't get any money for mileage. Okay, let's look at one mile. Well, he'd get his $10 flat fee, and then he'd get one Times, oh, sorry, that's not right. How much does he make per mile? He makes $2 per mile. So that's what we're going to multiply by, 2. And then he walked one mile. Okay, that continues. So his $10, if you want to, you could be like, do, 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 do. Let me write $10 every time because that's not changing. That's my constant. Look at that nice math word. Mathematicians came up with words that make sense. It's a constant. It's not changing. The other thing that isn't changing, we call it a coefficient, is that $2. What is changing every time? Well, the number of miles he walks. Well, sometimes he walks, in one case he walked two. What if he walked 10? What if he doesn't know how many miles he wants to walk? There's my equation. Now for me, that equation looks a little weird. So I might switch it around and go y equals two x plus 10. But that would be Andrew's equation.
He's not getting $10 per mile, so it's not 10x. His flat fee is $10. Now, I'm going to look very carefully at the graph you make, and I'm going to ask you to remake it if it's not done well. We're not going to be making a lot of graphs in here, but in this case, I want to make sure that we have some well done graph. And then of course you needed to explain which one you thought was the better plan. There's not one plan that's better than the other. You just have to justify which one you think is the better plan. Chad's plan, Helen's plan, or Andrew's plan. And then tell me why you think it's the better plan.